course, big tech is definitely flexing its muscle. Uh, this week, uh, Twitter has now moved to permanently ban Donald Trump's uh, Twitter account. It was the sixth most popular account on their entire platform. So that's something they're really going to see an impact from. Facebook has also uh, eliminated Donald Trump from its platform. And uh, Google, Amazon, they have moved to start purging some of their roles as well. Um, uh, Twitter and Facebook, though, have seen some major economic impact in the last, say, 48 hours because of that uh, billions of dollars in lost value in the market as people started to sell off shares. Uh, one, because they may be concerned that this is a free speech and a, and a censorship issue, but also because it's obvious that Trump, that uh, Twitter and Facebook are really going to be headed back to the Capitol if, if uh, Congress decides to do something about this censorship. But it's really also created this platform of, of uh, to speak about free speech. What is it? Who can control it? A lot of the big tech industry says, look, just go to another platform. But what that also says is that people who are opposing are saying this is why monopolies are bad. It's very difficult to go somewhere else. Parler is a great example. They were taken off the Google Play Store. They were um, you know, eliminated from Amazon, and they are really struggling to stay afloat. They may not be able to stay afloat. But a lot of those folks who are Trump supporters moved to Parler after Twitter eliminated Donald Trump. So this conversation is going to go well into the future. Jack Dorsey getting a lot of heat for some of the things that he said about Twitter okay. setting the stage for a national conversation.